Hello everybody and welcome back and right now let us get straight into installing the two different softwares that we need in order to start hacking. So one of those softwares is VirtualBox which is this install file right here. It is current version 6.0 and the other software that we need is the Kali Linux operating system or the Kali Linux ISO file which is this software right here. The current version that I installed is 2019.2. I already have these two files downloaded, but I will show you right now where you can get them and where you can download them. So navigate to your Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or whatever search engine that you're using. And then you can simply just type in your search bar VirtualBox. Press here enter. It will lead you to this page where you should click on the first link, which is downloads Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click right there uh, and it will open up a page. Uh, basically where you will have the VirtualBox, download VirtualBox, and then the VirtualBox, and then the version number platform packages. Now, uh, basically right here you will have four different options. Uh, one of those is for the Windows hosts, the OS X hosts, Linux distributions, and Solaris hosts. Now what this means is basically if you're running a Windows environment, or if you're running, for example, a Windows 10 machine, just like I am right here, you want to install the VirtualBox package for the Windows host. If you're running an OS X, you want to click right here, and so on and so on. So since I'm running Windows 10, I will click right here, Windows hosts, and it will start downloading the VirtualBox uh, exe file, which will be an install file for the VirtualBox. Now it has 162 megabytes, so uh, depending on your internet speed, it might take a few minutes. And now I will go and show you where you can get the Kali Linux. So just in your search bar, once again, type Kali Linux. You should find this link Kali Linux penetration testing and ethical hacking Linux distributions. Click right there. And under the download section, you should go to the download Kali Linux right here. Click on download Kali Linux. And right here, you will see that we have a bunch of different options. Uh, that we can download, you might be wondering which one of these is the correct one to download. Well, the two uh, main versions that we're interested in would be Kali Linux 64-bit and Kali Linux 32-bit. Now, depending on your machine, whether it is a 64-bit or 32-bit machine, you will install one of these two softwares. So since I am running a 64-bit machine, I'll just click here to download it over HTTP, but you can also choose to download it over Torrent if you'd like. Now the size of this file is 3.1 gigabytes, and once again, depending on your network speed or internet speed, it will take some time to download this. This is the file that you will receive once you download the virtual box. Uh, double click it, and it should open up the installation file or Windows installer, as we can see right here, where you should just follow different steps just by clicking next. Right here, there is nothing really to change. Simply just press here next. Uh, if you want to, you can just check or uncheck this to create a shortcut on desktop. I, for now on, want to have the shortcut on desktop, so I'll just click there next as well. And double click here, yes. As it will say right here, warning network interfaces, installing the Oracle VM VirtualBox networking feature will reset your network connectivity or, pardon me, connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network. Now, if you're not doing anything really important at the moment over the internet, simply just press here, yes. If you are doing something important, simply just wait for that to finish and then proceed with the installation. Okay, we want to click here install and this will start installing uh, VirtualBox 6.0 version on our main PC. Right here, this will pop up, which is the uh, prompt for the administrator privileges. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You want to click here, yes, if you have password input the administrative password and continue installing this software. It should not take too long to install, basically a few seconds, and then it should be finished. Also, one more thing to mention, if there is a different actual version of VirtualBox online, make sure to download the newest one. It doesn't even matter if it is not the same version as this. In case you're watching this tutorial in future, when a new version comes out, feel free to download the newest one. Uh, we want to check this start Oracle VM VirtualBox after installation and click here finish. Now what this will do is it will open up this window. Your window will look a little bit different than mine because I already have some virtual machines installed right here. For example, you will not have any of these 
uh, on the left side it should be empty and as well these options right here should not be at your screen unless you have installed some virtual machines before now this is the actual uh, look of the Oracle VirtualBox program that we're going to use to create virtual machines uh, basically I just want to show you how you can download it and in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can install Kali Linux using this VirtualBox. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!